Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review. Now today we have a very interesting mod. That's because we're checking out the weapon overhaul all in one by the 6th messenger. Now you may have seen this mod before because it's not exactly new. However, it has gotten some very substantial updates lately and it is just insane the amount of content that this mod offers. Now this video may end up being quite long as there's a lot to cover and I guarantee that I will not cover every single detail of this mod because that would almost be impossible. There are just so many attachments for the vanilla weapons now as well as a ton of new features so I will try to cover the most important stuff, show off a few of my favorite weapon builds that I could come up with and hopefully give you a good idea as to what exactly this mod does. Now, it is important to note before we get into the nitty gritty details that this mod covers a lot of stuff and thus makes compatibility a little finicky sometimes. Now, there are a lot of compatibility patches actually built into this already, including things like see-through scopes as well as the right-handed hunting rifle animations. That being said, if you have any mod that specifically alters vanilla weapons, this mod could mess with that. So, just something to keep in mind. So I suppose the easiest thing to start with is that the mod adds a ton of new attachments to the vanilla weapons. So this is going to be your all-in-one one-stop shop for adding new attachments to the vanilla weapons. Now as for these new attachments, they add a lot of attachments that honestly should be in the game in the first place. They allow for some really cool and interesting conversions, like converting the revolver into a rifle or the vanilla assault rifle into a proper LMG. This mod borrows assets from a lot of other very popular mods and thus these attachments look really really awesome and feel like they should have just been in the game in the first place. Another small change is the renaming of a couple of in-game items. For example, the combat rifle has been renamed to the assault rifle, the assault rifle has been renamed to the battle rifle, and the 10mm pistol has been renamed to the N99. The idea being that this mod also offers a ton of new alternate ammo types and conversions so that calling it a 10mm pistol would be kind of silly given that if you convert it to a 45 shooting pistol well now it's no longer a 10mm pistol so that's the idea behind that one. Which brings me to my next point. Lots of new ammo conversions which is really cool and the ammo conversions actually reflect visuals on the weapon. So if you have a 5.56 mag and you switch to a 308 magazine, the magazine actually gets bigger because it's holding bigger bullets, which is a touch that I very, very much appreciate. And the ammo conversions aren't as simple as, oh, I'm using a bigger round, because that was kind of already in the vanilla game. Some of these conversions really completely alter the way that the weapon functions. For example, let's take the combat shotgun. Normally, it would shoot shotgun shells. Now, the conversions isn't something simple as changing it from 12 gauge to 20 gauge, no. We're talking about rechambering it into a completely different weapon. So, you have the option to change the combat shotgun into a semi-automatic anti-material rifle by putting in a 50 caliber rounds, which will change the size of the receiver as well as the size of the magazine to make it a gigantic, crazy weapon. Throw on the right attachments and you actually make an anti-material rifle. Not exactly the one you're used to from New Vegas, but a new one that looks similar to a Fallout-style Barrett. Not exactly, obviously, a little bit of exaggeration there. Don't want the uh, gun nuts to kill me in the comments, but what I mean is this is a crazy new weapon. It's no longer a shotgun. This is now a sniper rifle with a huge barrel and a huge magazine firing gigantic rounds. So, super interesting conversions that you can be made with this mod. Now, another big change to modifications is the way that damage is done. So, in the vanilla game, you change your receiver and that's typically the only way that you're really getting a damage buff. Maybe an ammo conversion if the weapon offers it, but that's about it. Well, this mod takes it a step further. So to show it off properly, let's go ahead and take this assault rifle in game here and show what exactly you can do to change the damage. So first of all is going to be your ammo type. So if you want max damage with this one, we'll bring it down to a 308 receiver. Excuse the explosions in the background. Not sure what's going on there. Then for the next set of damages, we're going to head down to the receiver. So we have standard through advanced. Now this is just your raw damage upgrade affecting no other stats besides weight and damage. All of the things like fire rate, etc. are now in different categories as opposed to it all being handled by the receiver. So then we go down to the next section, which is your frame, where you have the option for a light, standard, or heavy frame, each of which will increase the weight while also increasing the damage. So a little trade-off there. Then we have the rounds that you are using. So you have the option for armor piercing, ball, incendiary tracer, radium, and subsonic rounds, which, again, will take me to my next category. There are now a ton of new ammo types, not just raw ammo types like the 30-06 that we see here, but also ammo types 
within the ammo types. Let me explain. Let's grab something like the 308 rounds. Very common and used very often in vanilla Fallout 4. And now we have some options here. We'll get to these in a second, but we'll start with the new ammo types themselves. So you can see we have armor piercing rounds, incendiary rounds, radium rounds, subsonic rounds, etc. And there are many other subtypes depending on the caliber. Now, the question might be, why do we have these as separate ammo types rather than as separate receiver types? Typically, in a weapon mod, the way that you would achieve this is you change the ammo type via the workbench, and then it's just reflected in the weapon. Well, no longer, as now we have ammo switching hotkeys. To bring back the system sort of how it was in Fallout New Vegas, you can now change your ammos on the fly. So to show you what this looks like in-game, we'll go ahead and grab my deliverer as that has some ammo switching setups already. And we'll start with the ball rounds. Now these are your typical bullets, nothing new, nothing crazy. As you can see, these are just regular bullets. But if I was to click my hotkey, reload, now I have incendiary rounds on the fly. If I want to change it back, I simply hit the hotkey, and now we're back to normal rounds. So if you need armor piercing for whatever reason, you can equip it now on the fly. Now it is worth noting that it requires a separate hotkey per ammo type. So it's not as simple as just one hotkey. I need one for the incendiary tracers and another for the ball so I can switch back. Otherwise, I would just switch to incendiary and not be able to get back. So keep in mind how many ammo types you're taking as it will require a separate hotkey for each, which you will just equip on your hotbar by clicking Q and choosing where you want it. Now, I know I just spouted a lot of information at you. I think I covered most of the big stuff, but just to give you a real idea as to what this mod does, I have made a bunch of weapons here using a lot of the vanilla weapons and some of my favorite attachments I could come up with and I figure we'll just show them off one at a time so you can see what exactly you can do. You can do some simple stuff, for example taking the double barrel shotgun, making it an over under caravan shotgun, which by the way, it does rename the weapons based on your attachments, really cool touch. And well, it doesn't function much differently but now, like I said, it's an over under caravan shotgun. Pretty simple stuff. However, there are attachments for this to take it to like a quad barrel shotgun or uh, change out the ammo types for some crazy stuff. So you can do neat things with the shotguns now. Or, for example, the assault rifle, which we have thrown some really cool stocks, a scope, and a drum mag on. Functions pretty similar to the vanilla assault rifle, but don't worry. Things are going to get crazier as we move on. And also, see-through scopes integration. Really cool. The deliverer has changed a lot since the base game. As you can see, we have a very long barrel. It's hard to see in first person, but there's actually a stock and a drum mag on there, as well as some more see-through scopes, which I appreciate a lot. And this thing, super cool. Fully automatic, looks really neat. Moving on to our .50 anti-material rifle. This is actually, at its base, a combat shotgun. You can probably see it underneath there, but it doesn't function the same way at all anymore, and it looks relatively different. If we take it into here, now it is just a 50 caliber sniper rifle with a lot of sway, unless you hold your breath, and a lot of recoil. Definitely going to be hard to use, but really, really cool. Then we have the .50 Magnum. This is going to be using 500 Magnum, which is something I kind of forgot to bring up. 4570 has actually been phased out with this mod and replaced with 500 Magnum. This isn't going to break anything, it literally just renames it and gives it a new function, which is a very high caliber pistol round, but you can throw it in other stuff as well. So now we have a revolver rifle that packs quite a punch. We have our sniper rifle, which I have made into a sort of junky fiend raider style sniper rifle with the improvised stock and a bipod. Nothing too crazy here, but again, does support right-handed animations, which is great. Right-handed animations are great. Don't know what's up with my reload speed. That's a bug in my game. Nothing you need to worry about, but for some reason my reloads are awfully fast at the moment. Here's one I really like, what we've done with the vanilla assault rifle. Now it works like an LMG using some elements from AARP. This thing is a real monster now. I also like the heated barrel on the end there because of the full auto fire. Looks super cool. We have a recon target seeking fat man. So if we can go and find an enemy, we can show off what this thing actually does. Okay, so it turns out that Fat Man didn't have the correct targeting rounds on equipped, but I do have one with the missile launcher set up correctly, so let's go ahead and check out the target sinking functionality with some anti-tank rounds that I put in. 
Anti-tank rounds have some really good armor penetration, which is why they one-shot a Deathclaw, no problem. Moving on down the list, I have just a couple more really cool guns. I love the attachments available for the SMG, as you can see. It's got a nice wooden foregrip, an integrally suppressed barrel, and the attachments don't end there. There's a lot more available, don't get me wrong, but if we ran through every attachment for every weapon, this video would be about two hours. But yeah, 45 SMG, super cool, and uh, I love the new iron sight. Very neat, and uses custom stick mag animations. And then the last weapon I have to show off is the Tactical Agitated Fusion Cannon. Now this is the Gatling Laser with a new barrel that the author refers to as the BFG barrel, and you'll see why. You might have seen it in the B-roll earlier, but as you can see, this thing has some devastating effects. Let's go ahead and prop down a Deathclaw and... There you go. <laughs> this thing is devastating. Now, the last thing I want to mention before anything else is I did create a new character to download this, and I recommend that you do the same. This could very well break some of your in-game items, as well as just cause some compatibility conflicts, and we don't want that happening. An additional point is if you set up a profile to run this mod, dedicate that profile to this mod and never uninstall it. If you want to uninstall it, you're going to need to start a new game because, again, it's going to break a lot of stuff. This makes so many changes to the in-game systems that if you uninstall it mid-playthrough, you're going to have a bad time. And with that, I think we've covered it all. Obviously, there's a lot of attachments I didn't get a chance to cover because if we did that, again, super long video. That being said, there is just so much to offer, it's definitely worth downloading this yourself and trying out all of the really cool features. And also, there is a version on Xbox, so you guys get to try it out too. Now, if I missed anything of note, I'm hoping the mod author will come by and let me know in the comments and hopefully let you guys know as well, but that's pretty much the gist of it. Really, really amazing mod and it makes a lot of changes to the vanilla weapons to make them a little bit more on par with your modded in weapons, so... Now they can actually be pretty viable in the late game as well, with a lot of really cool conversions and a lot of cool utility stuff. Especially like the idea of changing ammo on the fly. It's a feature I've missed since New Vegas, and I'm glad that it's included here. So with that, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to try it for yourself, the links will be in the description as always. And don't forget to go out there and support the mod author. Endorse their mod if you enjoyed it. Donate if that's something you can do, but more than anything, just show your appreciation for all of their hard work. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a rating. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this one. And I hope to see you in the next video. Peace. And hey, shout out to all of our patrons for their continued support. As always, your donations are greatly appreciated and help to fund videos just like this one. So again, thank you.